Hey honeys, Justina here. I'm hoping everybody's having a great day or night whenever you're viewing this. And honey, welcome back to another great mukbang. I know I haven't done a mukbang shit in what, like maybe two weeks now. So I'm long overdue for one um, for you guys because I love you guys so much. And I want to make these holidays the best memories that we can. Um, look, we're almost at 62,000 followers. Well, subscribers here on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for the love and support that you give me on a day-to-day -day basis. I really do appreciate that. Plus, you guys can follow my Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter. I'm posting constantly, constantly on there each and every day. So, go check me out on there because I know on YouTube I maybe post once, twice, sometimes three times a week. But, you guys can catch what I'm doing every single day on my social media. So let's get into this mukbang. Um, I'm going to do another mukbang of this restaurant later this month because honey, they have a McRib and I'm going to fucking get the McRib. So we got a McDonald's mukbang. Um, but this is not lunch. This is not dinner. This is breakfast. So honey, let's see what we got. Okay. Ooh, let's see what the hell this is. So, we got a uh, sauce, egg, and cheese McGriddle. Who doesn't love a good McGriddle? I remember growing up, and my mama used to um, get these all the time. And they were like two for six. But I don't care what the price is. I can go for a good McGriddle anytime. And then I got uh, the McMuffin. Um, the ham looks like another one. Sauce, egg, and cheese um, McMuffin. Because, honey, I'm McMuffin and McGriddles today. I'm all about the muff. Um, so, let's see how many hash browns they put in this bag. Okay, honey, so I have three hash browns. Because I told them I wanted uh, at least about two or three more. So, I did. They, they put that in there. Thank God. Mm. Sweet tea is always banging. So, a lot of people ask me. What is my favorite restaurant sweet tea? It's going to be always, always McDonald's, Mickey D's. If not, Bojangles. That's only for fast food. Now, if it's like a Waffle House or something like that, then hell yeah, I'm going to choose Waffle House. Because it's so freaking good. So, we are, I also took some questions on Instagram. That's another thing. If you guys want... I um, mean, to answer your questions, you have to go to Instagram, honeys. So, click my Instagram link in the description box below and go follow me on Instagram. Because that's where you get all the um, the restaurant recommendations, the questions, all that kind of fun stuff. So, I'm going to tear into this um, McMuffin uh, right now. So, let's see. Mmm. I don't know, it's about the white of the egg that is so freaking good. Mmm. And I think it's healthy for you. I'm not sure. It might be bad for you. Who the fuck knows? I know I'm going to have somebody in the comment section. Egg whites are not good for you. I can see it now. Mmm. Mmm. Ham. Damn, this is make good. Shit. Or make bussin'. Make bussin'. Mmm. That's really good. Mmm. Okay. So we got six questions. I had an extra question for you guys. So, number one, are you getting banged before the end of the year? I hope. I hope. I hope that's what I get for Christmas is get banged because you know it's been it's been a long time since I've been banged. Okay, it's been about good. I don't want to go there because even just thinking about it, I'm like fuck. I could have done it a long fucking time ago, but who knows? But maybe you you never know. I might I might get banged and surprise you guys with the deets. Number two, he's a ten, but it likes his toes sucked. Smash or pass? Okay, 
This bitch right here is not for no toes, okay? I'm not going to lick no toes. I'm not going to suck no toes. But if it's a fucking 10, I might just do it because mm, a 10. Think about Austin Mahone. If you ask me to suck his toes, or hell, even Justin Bieber, I might even go, you know, beyond the spectrum. Um, I probably would. I probably would. I probably would suck his toes. Because, God, you know, you got to make sure those things are manicured, pedicured, what the fuck ever cured. Because at the end of the day, honey, he better have some nice toes. Because if I'm sucking, you better be nice. Um, cause I don't want no crusty rusty between those damn things. Number three, why are you not getting dick down even when you go on vacation? Honey, when I go on vacation, I ain't got time to get nothing done, okay? Cause it's go, 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 go. And I, that's how I am. When I go somewhere, I love to be on the go. I love keep doing stuff. Once I settle down, it feels like I'm just wasting time. You know, it's not wasting time, but, you know, I don't know. I just feel like my life is, you know, I just want to just do, do, do. I just want to keep going, going, going. But, you know, I love, you know, um, hanging out with friends and stuff. Especially especially when I'm with uh, Mama Libby, Chelsea, Paige, Maggie. I love sitting down and just talking to them and everything. Now, I love doing that shit. But, you know, just, you know, going with somebody else. And I can do it to Sam and Nayeli, too. But I just love being on the go. Give me a cup of sweet tea, a cup of coffee, and I'm good. I'm ready to go. But to answer your question, I wish I was getting dick down when I was filming, when I'm doing stuff. Get your mind out of the gutter if you think I'm filming that shit. Hell no. Um, so, number four. Let us know if the book is good. I've been waiting for the price to go down on Amazon. Oh, my goodness. I don't even know what the book's at. It's somewhere. But the book that we're referring to is Jeanette McCurdy's um, I'm Glad My Mom Died. Something like that book. Let me just say, the book is freaking terrific. Um, oh my god, the like the first chapter is like boom, it's like go. I'm like, wow. So the first chapter gives about talks about the birthday party and all that kind of stuff. And um in chapter two, you start getting on um, the feel of, you know, I know she had cancer, I know she was going through radiation and all that, but why would you make your family sit down with you every single Sunday? Every Sunday, don't miss a Sunday. Every Sunday. And watch a video of you going through radiation treatments. Going through that. I know it's a blessing to be here. But to get mad at your your daughter. Because it's her birthday. and Or it's Christmas or something. She's singing Jingle Bells or Happy Birthday. Something like that. And you get mad. Because she's supposed to be, you know, all eyes on you. Um, but, yeah, I just don't get it. You know, every single Sunday. It's like you can't miss a Sunday of watching the video. Um, you got to keep going. And then um, chapter three, I'm already on chapter four. It's like 90 chapters in there, so i got a long way to go. Um, but, yeah, then the other one talks about how I think chapter three is about when her father was calling her mother, and um, she was like, damn, I just wish I could have married a lawyer or a doctor or something besides him. And then she wanted to be an actress growing up, but, you know, with her family, um, Jeanette McCurdy's mom could not be an actress. So she wanted Jeanette to be an actress. And um, they went to uh, auditions and everything, Jeanette didn't make it, but, um, what else? She didn't make it to be the top performer. She was, like, one of the, like, the mid-card. Um, then, uh, the director told his mom, her mom about it. I'm 
not good at, you know, telling this shit. Um, but yeah, I was not good at it. What else? So, so I don't know if she got mad afterwards that the director told her that Jeanette wasn't going to be the main actress. Um, that's where I stopped at. So we'll get there. You know, you know, when I'm going through books, I'm trying to remember every damn thing. It's like, okay, now I don't want to leave nothing out when I say this shit. So, but yeah, it's a good book. I highly recommend you getting it. I know the prices on Amazon is, hell, Barnes and Noble as well. It's like $28 for the book. But hopefully, uh, since Black Friday is coming up, you guys can get some great de um, details. Some great prices on the book. I would highly recommend you guys getting it for Christmas for your loved ones because the book is amazing. Let's see, number five. Do you drink flute? Flute. Do I drink flute? Do you drink fruit? I can't damn talk. Hell, that's what I get for being up too early. Do you drink fruit flavored iced tea? I don't. So I went to this place out there in Texas. I forgot what the hell it's called. H2T or something like that. It's a good place. Now, don't get me wrong. Um, but, you know, they have so many tea flavors, I swear. Um, but it's it was good, though. The teas are good. But, you know, I got to sit with my bestie, my favorite southern sweet tea, because anything else sucked. Now, I can say I put some cherries in them when I was out there in Texas. I cheated on southern sweet tea, and I made it damn cherry sweet tea. But it was good, though. Um, but would I ever drink any more fruit flavored sweet tea or iced tea, what the fuck ever? No. Biggest pet peeve. Okay, one of my biggest pet peeves is when people, especially guys, okay, no. the guy thing is about peeing on the seat. Peeing on the seat, peeing on the floor, I hate that fucking shit. That pisses me off more than anything. Guys, wipe the seat, clean it, clean it up in the floor, okay? Because it's disgusting. We don't want we don't want to see that shit. Please, honeys, do it. Do better, as Chelsea would say. Um, what else? Um, and also this goes for everybody. Clean up after yourself. If you make a mess, clean the shit up. I'm not. I don't want to go behind you and clean it up. So clean this shit up. I shouldn't have to even beg you or tell you to clean this shit up. You fucking do it. So we got some daily holidays this week. So I don't know what made me want to do this, but I went through like the daily ho the daily holidays that we have. So we have World Kindness Day. That's a great holiday. Listen up and lighten up. That's pretty cool. Uh, because you know what? We all need to laugh. We all need to loosen up a little bit. Nobody needs to be all like, oh, like stiff as a board. We all just need to lighten up and share a laugh together. Family PJ Day. So I know I'm going to be seeing a lot of TikToks with families on there with their pajamas on doing. Okay, so I know I'm going to be expecting that coming up on uh, whatever day it is. Monday, Tuesday. Clean out your refrigerator day. So, honeys, if you guys have not did that, go do it, please. Because, you know, we need a nice refrigerator. International Day of Tolerance. Everybody should have tolerance. You know, we should love everybody as we want to be loved. So, you know, it works both ways. National Fast Food Day. Well, <laughs> bitch, I just did. I bought McDonald's, so... Uh, that was pretty good. I haven't even tried the McGriddle. Damn, I'm over here talking. Look at that. Look at that. I know you guys can see it a little bit. Mmm. Just like a pancake. Mmm. Hell yeah, huh? I, I haven't even tore into my hash brown yet. But yes, honeys. I think this has been a great mukbang. I haven't posted one in a while. 
If anybody asks you what I love at McDonald's, hash browns. That's about it. Hmm. That's how freaking good. I got my shirt on too, my Grinch shirt. Bought this at Walmart a while ago. About eight about nine dollars. I like it. So also, honey, I'm doing Christmas cards. Doing Christmas cards this year. You guys will get four. Four. Um, signed pictures in there. Plus, you'll get a, a Christmas card from me. So, go ahead and get it right now. It'll be right in the description box below underneath Christmas cards order now. So, get your Christmas cards um, right now just in time for the holidays because I'm only doing them till like maybe the first week in December because the second week I'm going to be out. And then the third week you know, with the busy schedules of the United States Postal Service, USPS, it takes freaking forever to get there. So, by the first week of December, orders need to be done in everything. So, honeys, go ahead and order your Christmas cards right now. And also, I'm on Cameo, so if you want a personal shout-out, it's great for birthdays, anniversary, cheering somebody up, birthday messages, I've already said that, Christmas messages, anything. It'll be a great Christmas present as well. So, order yours now. It'll be in the description box below as well. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, um, Snapchat, uh, Instagram. I'm, I'm on it. So, follow me. The links will be in the description box as well. Love you, honeys. Keep staying you. Stay beautiful and stay strong and have a happy holiday season. Love you, honeys. Mwah. Bye.